feel the karamit because um, it is my way. It's right. the way I Absolutely. present it. It's not the way I learned it. You know, uh, uh, truth be told, in my experience, um, the karamit to me is a Southeast Asian weapon. Right. It is mostly from Indonesia and Malaysia. Those is where I really found it. Right. Now, the Filipinos, I believe, have adopted it, um, you know, saying, well, we have that too. And like, well, when I, in my research going to the Philippines, I couldn't find anything that was like a karambit. Right. What I right. did find were their versions of saying, well, we have something like the curved blade like that. So they said, oh, it's like our sangot or the lumad. And right. I look at those and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not a karambit. Yeah, because right have something big like this right i mean for cutting coconuts and everything well that's you know, well the karambit comes from a farmer's tool no this is not a karambit it's for cutting things you know because now it's used as a sickle right so any farm tools that are curved or a farm tool for use that's you know it's got to be longer blade is basically a sickle in hand because this is where the strength is. If you were to use it this way, you don't have that much strength to use this. It's in the way. Mm -hmm. So having said that, it's something that, you know, if we're talking about ergonomics of work and farmer's work, you got to have it and use it overhand. The karambit is supposed to be an underhand weapon. And karambit being a weapon of a particular silat system or a particular fighting system really is like a hidden punch dagger. That's why I created this one. This is the the uh, blade that I have with Basinelli called the uh, Pika, because I wanted to create something that was similar to the first karambit I had, that is just a tiny blade attached to the hand. And why is it underhanded? Because if it's not heavy, it's here, it follows through with the motions that I do with the martial art that it comes with. Mm -hmm. Not a farming tool, and this is a farming tool, how much work can I get with that? Right, absolutely. Just one thing. And here's the other thing also. If, it's, if it is a farming tool, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it in Indonesia, in Malaysia, and the Philippines as a farming tool itself created for this. Now, they'll create these blades that are modern interpretation, modern made in this 20th century world of where now the knives made. Like I said, the first karambit I had was this tiny, tiny thing, very right. light, very crude with a small curved blade in the end. That's it. Now, I started creating different versions of it in modern world where they start to think that, you know, bigger, bigger karambit is better because yeah. they do that. But that's, that's, that's the modern interpretation. That, and then now you have folders of that. Well, that's because the love of the work, the love of something so primal looking like a claw, mm -hmm. we modernized, we modernized it. And I use it pretty much like I would the way of the Filipino martial artist, which is right. a common way. 